Hello, Maurits here. This is a short video on potential energy, uh, or actually gravitational potential energy. Okay, uh, we have by definition that work equals to force times the distance. Now imagine you would lift an object some height h, the object has some mass m, so on that we will have a force acting downwards, right? And you have to counteract that with a force to lift this up. And the force acting is a force of gravity, right? Force of gravity is mass times the acceleration of gravity. So we could basically replace this by this uh, to calculate find how, what uh, energy what work we need to put in to lift this so we will get the formula mg and the distance we lifted is the height so mgh and that will end up being our any work we need to put in and that will be stored in the object as gravitational potential energy so we call that energy potential. So we can write the formula down here. Energy potential equals to m g h, and that is our defining formula for the gravitational potential energy. Um, and we have used that before. If we imagine, for example, that me um, my mass here is let's just draw a box over here my mass is 82 kilograms and say I walk up some stairs uh, the height is 3.5 meters and the question is how much uh, potential energy will I add to my body on in other words how much energy do I need to put into this uh, so uh, I needed to have the calculator going uh, let's go back to our uh, there menu. So, so we will calculate the mass is eighty two times uh, g nine point eighty one times the height three and a half meters. Okay, so about 28, in this case, this will be about 2,800 joules. And that is how we can calculate both the energy required and in the end, uh, the potential energy stored in, say, my body. Hope this helps a bit. Thank you.